Great room. Oh. Yeah, it's nice. Do you see that lobby? There's enough floor wax to qualify as aromatherapy. Well, I promise you, every one of your senses will get all the pampering it needs while we're in this place. You're not laying a finger on her senses, and any pampering she needs will be done by me. Okay. Oh, this is great. <laughs> I'll kiss your feet. After my pedicure, does your room have a set of these? Isn't her loofahs? Well, so I'm confiscating them. Oh, would you relax? It's a spa. I'm relaxed already. Oh, yes, you know, they're not going to sprinkle fairy dust on you. You have to cooperate a little bit. You have to get into this just a little bit. You know, nothing's going to yeah. change or get any worse while we're gone, like Gertrude. And Carrie. Yes, to name two off the top of our heads. So you got to just think about, well, why are we in a scenic, houseful, beautiful setting like this anyway? To do things with your clothes off? Good answer. See, I was going to say that if he didn't. Get it. Mr. Lawson Heifer? Am I pronouncing it correctly? Ah. Uh, Possibly. Uh, do I have the right suite? Well, that depends. Oh, good. <laughs> Are you my in-room massage? This is Lawson Heifer. Yes, come <laughs> oh, on Sorry in. about that. You can't be too careful these days. You can sit up wherever you'd like. Why didn't you give us a name that I could pronounce? <laughs> and, You're um, having a massage in here? Isn't that all right? I thought everyone had plans. Well, he doesn't want a seaweed wrap. Oh. Well, I prefer, you know, be wrapped in mud. I used to all the time as a child, voluntarily. <laughs> You're going to have a massage in here with a perfect stranger? <laughs> With no clothes on? I think he'll have his clothes on. Well, with Jax, you better come with me. Hey, do you think they'll let me throw mud at him myself? Uh, no. Listen, what's my name? I might need it before I detoxify. Piper. Oh, Peter and Pepper. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'll meet you downstairs. Yeah, okay. So uh, you can have picked any easier names, like perhaps Smith or Jones? I... I... Ready when you are, ma'am. You and Ned play nicely now. Okay. All right. Mm. Oh. I know what I want for Veterans Day. What, is it Veterans Day gifts a Cassidy tradition or something? I don't think I can wait till Christmas for blindfolds and earplugs. Oh, that sounds like criticism. No, it's not that I don't like your whistling. It's just a little early, like the crack of dawn. I'm sorry, I thought I was being quiet. No, maybe it's just the glare. Do we really need all that light? I've married a bat. Speaking of criticism... Yeah, are these the stirrings of marital discontent? I've never seen anyone do that except in a book my mother once gave me. Your mother gave you a book on yoga? No, on torture techniques. It can be invigorating. Would you like to try it? Not without an anesthesia. Might get you going in the morning. Some people wake up in stages. I'm in the mortal agony phase. I'm sorry. Bad night? My neck is killing me. It's a side effect of that couch. And it's something that can help you. Or completely finish me off. Who needs yoga? Or a comfortable bed, for that matter. Sleep may turn out to be completely unnecessary. Ah, uh, you're falling asleep right now. Well, that's okay. I'm allowed. It's my vacation. I'm milking it down to the last. This is the last day. Um, if you'll resume my massage, I promise I'll start working on scheduling a return trip. We won't be able to fit it in before the holidays. That's true. Mm. Things get kind of hectic. Does Brooklyn stay with you over Thanksgiving? Well, she hasn't in the past, but... Well, it's up to you. Um, I could always talk to Lois about it. Whatever is best for Brooklyn. What about you? Is spending the holidays with a stepmother a little more married than you want to be? The antidote for what ails you. 
commonly known as morning malaise. I'm over it. Oh, so, um, do you prefer baked potatoes or the mashed variety? For breakfast? No, for Thanksgiving dinner, Lady Jane wanted your vote. Your mother plans that far in advance? What are you talking about? It's only three weeks away. That's last minute for her. So, a Jack's family Thanksgiving. Would you rather spend it with Ned? If I find that your parents are gazing at me across the table with sympathy in their eye, I'm going to know that Jerry told them that you're having an affair with Chloe and their hearts are breaking for me. I'll take that as a you'd rather spend it with Ned. I might enjoy it, Jack's family Thanksgiving. Yeah. As long as there's no kayaking or skydiving. Last day in paradise. So, how are we going to spend the uh, waning hours? I started these treatments when I was in law school. I'd be about 12 by now. <laughs> the day after I turned 12, I dyed my hair emerald green. <laughs> On purpose? <gasps> yes, with three of my best friends. I was the instigator. Were there penalties back then for hair color infractions? I, my mother was very tolerant, but my three green-haired friends got grounded for a month. <laughs> I haven't thought about that in so long. You know, it seems strangely appropriate. Right now. Fearless foursomes bending the rules? No, me getting everyone grounded. We're not grounded. What do you call it? You know, I, sneaking around to see Ned, always looking over your shoulder. We Cassidines learned to watch our back before we started to walk. Secret meetings, whispered plans, nothing spontaneous or free. It's not so bad. There's fun parts like this, for instance. Which was way too brief. Tomorrow we're back to business as usual with you as Mrs. Jax and me as Mrs. Ashton. So you consider it a challenge, a triathlon of the mind. Yeah, more like of the heart. Doesn't it drive you crazy? How do you stand the strain? I'm extremely competitive. So are Jax and Ned, which is why we're all so good at this. Well, you and Ned are amazing. I am beyond impressed. I'm in awe. But Jax and I, that's another story. I don't know if we're going to last. Look, either close the deal or scrap it, okay? I'm reviewing the proposals now. Make up your mind one way or the other. Then I'm not going to be pushed on this. All right, then consider my offer null and void we'll if we don't else. hear from you by noon tomorrow. No decision until noon tomorrow. All right. Well, I'm glad. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't... Has anyone ever told you that your voice carries a little too well? Oh, yeah. Yeah, actually, my wife mentioned it just this morning. Yeah, well, she was right. Yeah, well, Alexis generally is. Except in her estimation of you. Yeah. Chloe is equally challenged. Oh. For some reason, she's taken with you. Well, I'm taken with her. So taken, I'm thinking that Chloe and I may... blow this whole arrangement sky high. Competitive as you are. So your blazing success is just a fluke? I work from inspiration. If my heart's not in it, it doesn't work, you know? And, and right now, my heart wants something more than Chloe Morgan Designs. What about having it all? Didn't someone once say that was possible? Oh, they were wrong. At least in my case. At least at this point in my life. I look at Jax, and I don't care about corporate growth. I see him smile, and I don't care if I run Chloe Morgan Designs or not. I know he touches you and your career is, is just a footnote. It's a prelude to something bigger. But it never occurred to me that I could feel this way. I, this something has taken over. This is not the me I know. Can't bite the magic. So you really understand? Mm, marriages can be dissolved just like that. Well, annulments are quicker, right? Relinquish your company to Gertrude and just hope she doesn't sue. Sue? Oh, yeah, sure. You know, fraud, et cetera, et cetera. But don't worry about it. She's not going to do that. Unless, of course, she's vindictive. Well, she is vindictive. So you lose your assets. Jax has them. He'll be happy to share them with you. I don't need to be taken care of. Oh, actually, you may. In fact, he'll insist on it because he's that kind of guy. But I don't want to be an obligation. No. I can't possibly keep this up for another nine months. I want to be with her now. All right. So let's just assume we scrap the whole thing. Now, you have nothing to lose, in particular. But Chloe, on the other hand... Forfeits her company to Gertrude, yes, I know. In exchange for nine months of bliss. Gee, thanks. You give us nine months? Oh, you two could last a lifetime. But the next nine months will cost 
Essentially, you'll be trading them for Chloe Morgan Designs. Now, I know what you get out of the deal, but I'm a little uncertain as to what Chloe's going to get out of it. But then again, you know, what's a lifelong dream and a decade's work compared to the gift of you? Yes, yes, I see your point. Oh, so you're not completely hopeless. Nor am I utterly blind. You see, you're not exactly neutral here, Ned. You have vested interests. Do you feel like you're being punished? At the moment, definitely not. No, I mean, this whole arrangement. Chloe thinks that it's punitive, like we're kids that are being grounded. Mm, oh, to be grounded like this forever. Do you know that she came this, this close, this close, to mm. calling the whole marriage off? Yeah, so was Jax. Mm-hmm. I talked her out of it. Yeah, I managed to turn him around, too. Are we nuts? Possibly. Maybe we're just masochistic. I'm not in pain, are you? How about commitment phobic? We're just deeply ambivalent. Well, that doesn't sound right. I was thinking maybe we're just so competitive that we're, we're bordering on self-destructive. Were you able to get in touch with him earlier? I left a couple messages. Well, a woman going so bravely into the fray needs an encouraging kiss goodbye. I agree. Hmm. Listen, while you're gone, I'm going to check the penthouse to see if our dear friend Aunt Gertrude has left us any gifts like she's been known to do when we're off the premises. That would be so like Aunt Gertrude. I'll help. Yeah. And if she has... I'll just either uh, get pictures on her or get her committed to Ferncliff for a long, long time. I thought you were going. What? I miss all this fun? <laughs> Amazing. Did you find something? Housekeeping keeps his phone keypad thing perfectly clean. They don't do that in my hotel suite. I wonder how much Jack's tips. Gertrude must be getting desperate. Master bedroom. Yes, it's Gertrude's revenge for getting her kicked out of the spa. We have searched every square inch of this room now. I found my missing pen. Uh -huh. You have got to talk to hotel security. Someone let her in here. Yes, perhaps the hotel owner. Oh, yes, grandfather. Mm -hmm. And now, to that kiss goodbye. I should really get going. Stefan is suspecting me. Yeah. I keep telling her to drop it. That there are other ways to help Jerry. But this way is clean. I rescue my brother, he gives me a slice of the family fortune, I give it to you, and you rescue your brother. Yes, but your family has been known to kill people. Hence the murder charge. I'm not doing this just for you. I do have my own agenda. I gotta go. Bye. We're right behind you. You want me to hold the elevator? Yeah. Uh, we need to check that package going to prison. Oh, right. We have to, we promised they'd be there tomorrow. Yeah. All right. Oh, hold on one second. I okay. have something for you. Ooh, oil. It's for my next massage if you ever feel inspired. Hmm. Okay. See you later.